So hi you guys, I know I look um, a bit weird, I'm busy baking, um, but I thought I'd come along and do a little review on this, it's the Sample Beauty um, The Painter's Palette by Beth Painter on Instagram, it's a 30 shade eyeshadow palette and I've been seeing um, some reviews and people use it and obviously I follow Beth on Instagram, I really, I really like her to be quite honest. Um, and here's the inside of the palette and obviously I've just done a review on the Carnival palette so if you guys want to watch that I'll link it down in the description box below um, but then I saw this and I was like it's very similar but there's also a couple of differences and obviously I have I have a lot of palettes I'm, I'm a bit of an I'm, I'm a bit of a makeup junkie um, but like I feel like every single one performs differently and how you want it and I, I'm curious to see how this performs differently to the carnival palette because it is another colourful palette and it does have like purples in it like a dark purple like Prince is very similar to Blackberry which I used um, Bonbon, Jojo, Gemini, F Florist, Mickey, Tinkerbell which I really want to use you know but then there's like other ones like Pop which is this light look which, um, if you don't follow Makeup by Tammy, she did like an inner corner lavender with that one, with the pop. Looked gorgeous. I really, really loved it. Um, that's kind of what made me want to get this palette. Um, but I just think, I want to see the differences. And the shimmers look different, you know, this one's got a silver. Because there's only three shimmers in this one, you know. So, I'm curious to see how the shimmers work. So, the shimmers are Martini. Um, Natalie, which is like a rosy, pinky gold one, and then Silver Lining, which is the silver, which I'm really excited for the silver. Um, so yeah, I really want to like use it, see what we think, you know. And then, because I bought it from Beauty Bay, um, I had enough points to get this, Ooh. the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker. Um, the mini version, I've got the big version, so. All I'm missing is the cremated palette, the new Orgy palette. And then, am I missing anything else? I think that's it. And obviously the mini Orgy as well. Which, by the way, I really like the Orgy palette. Like, in my head, that is like the perfect nude palette. Because I don't, I like mattes when I do like nudes and brands, I prefer to go more matte then shimmery so I looked at it and I was like and it looks like it's good for every skin tone as well for different like nudes so yeah I've got this so I might pick up some of these shades I don't know um then I also got the new Beauty Bay um crayon liners which I swatched them on the back of my hand they look they look really nice and creamy so we've got a black, a brown and a nude, so we can test those out today if we can. And then I've got two sample beauty brushes, so um, I wanted to see how good these brushes I'm always looking at new brushes, I like trying out new brushes. So this one's a sample beauty PA109. Looking like that. And then we've got a PA108. You know, so I really wanted to try like these ones, like these fluffy blending ones, and I thought, or well, better to try it than with the painter's palette. So, yeah. Um, so I am baking because um, I wasn't sure if there'll be any fallout. If you see that, excuse it, that's my cream bronzer. Um, but yes, I am baking because I didn't know whether there'll be any fallout or anything. I haven't done my eyebrows yet, so I thought I'd do that all sort of on camera for you guys. And by the way, I'm sorry about the lighting. There's clouds coming in and out in front of the sun. I apologise. I'm just going to take um, the P. Louise um, eyebrow pencil thing. Oh, so brightful. I'm just going to brush my hair up. So I quite like my eyebrows looking quite natural by the way guys, 
I don't like the block brown. I sometimes do like the fluffy brown. But the majority of the time I keep them quite natural. I just kind of like fill in the sparse areas. And like I do it very, very roughly. And I do it quite light handed as well. So you can just barely see the difference. And I don't really extend my brow either. Like so, and that's like it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the P. Louise Oso oh Brattiful Brow Gel. Um, I really like this. Sometimes I'll just wear this and I'll call it like a done day. Um, and I like how you can sort of squeeze the product out because I know P. Louise, like her, if you follow on Instagram, um, some of the people just take the eyebrow gel, squeeze it on the back of the hand, and they do like little flicks through instead of actually setting their brows with it. So the meal deal thing that she did, which wow, I have it. Wow, um, I really like it. If you guys want me to do like a little video using the meal deal, let me know. I will be happy to do that for you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna go into my P. Louise base, um, rumour 2. I don't carve out my brows, I'm just gonna go straight in. And put like a pea sized amount on my eye. And then I either use a mini beauty blender, a flat brush and then I go over with a fluffy brush. Or this is what I've been living at the moment, this Real Techniques brush, so it's like really fluffy and almost like kind of flat. So it just makes blending it really easy and because um, if you put too much on and you don't sort of take away the tackiness, because you want it to still be tacky but you don't want it to be too wet where it makes it hard to blend. So this does the job perfectly, I really recommend this brush with this base or like a mini beauty blender, which I do use. And there you go. Blended it out in like two seconds. So I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. 'cause purple here. So I'm just gonna start by sort of stamping the colour. And I'm making sure it's above my crease because I think I'm gonna cut my crease today. Um I haven't done like a proper cut crease in a while. So that should be weird. <laughs> Vino, which is this dark sort of maroon colour there, and I'm going to finish off the crease. Um, scamp, which is this blue here. And I'm just going to slowly start buffing out the outer edge where the dark blue is, where 1999 is. go into prints and start blending out the purple section and I do sort of like a half on half off which is how I blend 
So half on the collar, half on the skin. I'm now going to go into Rujo, which is the pink. So I'm going to go into this one for sort of blending out the burgundy. I'm going to go into the new brush, the Stamp by Sample Beauty PA108 brush, and I'm going to go into the very light blue, which is the sky blue, which looks right up my alley, really. I really like this sort of blend it into temples. into my brow as well like I'm really blowing it out and just taking a little bit of colour each time I'm taking the other new brush which is the Sample Beauty PA09 brush I'm going to go into the lilac which is this one and it's called mm. Pop I'm going to go into Bon Bon, which is the lightest pink, and I'm just going to blend out the inner corner in just some nice circular motions. My blank canvas, and I'm going to cut the crease. Can breathe again. So I'm just going to go do the other eye off camera for the cutting of the crease um, and I'll be right back. I'm back with two creases cut. Not my best work, not my worst. And I'm now I'm just going to go in and start laying down the colours for the crease. So I'm going to go in with canvas first and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I want to see how bright and white this is because I currently have this obsession with I'm going to take a different brush um, we're finding out my whitest white I've got well that layered very nicely actually and now I'm going to go into Tinkerbell which is that mint shade that I've been eyeing up. I'm using a big brush first just to get it on there and then I'm going to use a smaller one to go up near where the cut crease is. I, I be, Ibiza? Ibiza? It's really, really dark green. And I'm going to pat that on my outer corner of the crease. Using this big brush to get the majority of it done on the bottom before I go in with the tiny brush again. But right at the end. Not much. That's kind of like what we've got. I think the white 
it is buildable but it doesn't like being built too 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 much and I really wanted it bright white so I'm going to just open up my eyes <laughs> so I kind of still want to try out the Beauty Bay Great Aunts um, I think I want to try the nude it's like this it's just like nude vanilla it's called vanilla so I'm going to put this in my waterline about that it's quite good um, I'm going to go in and finish my under eye which I think I'm going to do dark blue to Tinkerbell I think I'm going to go in with Tinkerbell so dark blue and then like Tinkerbell which is dark blue scamp Light blue. For lashes, I'm gonna go into um, my dream lashes. I'm gonna plop the lashes on, and then I'll be right back. I've just realised I never used a shimmer, and I'm sorry if you can hear voices. But I've just realised I never used a shimmer. But these are the lashes, guys. I really love dream lashes, like them. So cute. Silver lining. And put it on my brow. Right? I'm not sure how well that's gonna go, but over as well. So there we have it. The silver does look really cool. It's like kind of really, really glittery. But yeah, it's a very me look. I like doing eyes and cut creases like this. I feel like it just, I don't know, cut creases like this just make my eyes look bigger and I've got slightly hooded eyes, so. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. The painter's palette. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Let's just show you the inside one more time. So this is the look we created with it. And to be quite honest, I like it. I I actually really do. I like I like the pinks especially the pinks that I tried, and then the actual sort of. I really like. Um, it's really nice and compact, it's really sleek. Um, I love the outside of it, like I think that's what drew me in the most was the outside of it, like how gorge. Um, and I love how there's a little quote on the mirror, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Worth your money, is it? Yes, I, w I would say yes. Um, yeah, I would say yes, um, but it's more of you need to think, do you need it? If you don't need it, I would say it's not really worth it. If you've got the like bright colours and stuff, you don't necessarily need this one, especially if you just bought the new Stacey Marie one, which is what I did, and then I bought this one. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of me, more of my channel. Um, it would really mean the world to me if you did like and subscribe and you ring the little bell. You don't have to if you don't want to though. Um, yeah thank you guys for watching um have a lovely day night evening thank you guys so much for watching bye